It's looking a little bit warmer this afternoon than Missouri, so maybe the last several days you've been having some shorter dog walks because it's been cooler, but this afternoon maybe get to extend it a little bit as we're going to be seeing highs just above the average of 40 degrees, looking at 42 degrees by 3 p.m., mostly cloudy skies. Going to be staying with us even into the evening and overnight hours. Eventually 6 p.m. 37 and continuing to cool into the later overnight hours. Going to be seeing temperatures bottoming back out into the mid to lower 20s across much of the region. So looking at 25 degrees in Columbia, Jefferson City at 26 degrees and just off to the west on Highway 70, Boonville 24 degrees. So still a little bit chilly throughout the overnight hours. Now going to be looking pretty dry as we hit throughout the next several days. Wednesday night could see some light flurries, not much to talk about there. But then Friday night, going to be seeing some chances of some scattered showers. And eventually by Saturday morning, temperature is going to be continuing to cool down. Could see a possible wintry mix. A lot of that starts to exit into Sunday morning. Then Monday and Tuesday, tracking some more widespread moisture here in mid-Missouri. So could be seeing some implications helping us pull back that drought that we've been seeing the last year and a half or so across much of the region. Now, breaking down Saturday morning just a tad bit more in depth. What are we expecting with this system? Well, southern half of Missouri going to be looking at a little bit of some light rain just because temperature is going to be above that freezing mark. Now, as we get closer to Highway 70, closer to Columbia and Jefferson City, going to be closer and catered to more of a mix. Now, the freezing line a little bit further off to the north means that northwestern county, so Macon, Randolph, Sheraton, and Saline, seeing better chances of a little bit of a light snow. But back here in Columbia, Jefferson City, going to be seeing it back and forth between that rain and snow mix. Not seeing too much moisture with this system, so not going to be seeing any travel impacts here in mid-Missouri. And if we do see any accumulations on the ground and most likely going to be up to a dusting in far northwestern portions of mid-Missouri. And that's just going to be on elevated and grassy surfaces due to those temperatures being very close to that freezing mark down at the surface of the earth. Now we're tracking the system and the location of this low pressure system looks to be making its way a little bit further to the south with the latest model runs, which means we're not seeing too much in terms of moisture here in mid-Missouri. That's how we're not going to be expecting too much, looking at less than a tenth of an inch across much of the region. Now into the extended forecast, things are looking a little bit different. Six to 10 days away, we're gonna be seeing above average precip totals here in mid-Missouri, which means we're gonna be seeing a lot more of an upper active pattern here in mid-Missouri, seeing a lot more low pressure systems sliding back through, meaning more rainfall and heavier rainfall as we head off into the first half of next week. Temperatures, however, still staying decently close to that average mark. Like I said, usually 40 degrees, but expecting more showers and a little bit heavier into next Monday and Tuesday.